Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit and animate your text to the beat of music or the sound of your voice. So before we begin this tutorial, if you guys are new to the channel and you're not following me on social media, go follow me on Instagram. We're live streaming, sharing behind the scenes, and I love connecting with you guys more in the messages on there. So what I have laid on the timeline is just a music track, so an audio track. You could use the sound of your voice. So what we're going to do is create a new text title. So let's go to File, New Title, and let's type out whatever we want. Consider your alignment and how many lines and whatever you want, depending on the style of the title that you want. This is a pretty simple one. From here, you could highlight the text and adjust the font and size to be whatever you want. I'm using a font called Bebas New, and you can also adjust the alignment. So I'll just do a center alignment. I'll take the second line, and I'll adjust the size of just the second line so that it's equal to the first. And we have a pretty symmetrical rectangle block of text. From here, you can go into the title properties, adjust more things if you want. And in the title actions menu, you can center it vertically and horizontally if you want it centered. So once you've created your new title, you should see it pop up in your project media bin and you can click and drag it out onto a track on your timeline. So next you wanna kinda of consider how many letters and words you have and how you wanna chunk it out depending on how many beats you want to edit to. So extend your text title to last about as long as you want and kind of count out how many beats there are and how you want to animate things. So since we actually typed it all out in one text title, we can just chunk it out with masking. So we don't have to create a new title for every word or every letter that we want to introduce. So once you have your title placed and at the length that you need, let's create a new rectangular four point polygon mask. So a square is perfect for this because text is usually nicely blocked off by these nice squares. So by default, it's going to show only what's within this rectangle. If you wanted to block off one text at a time, you could invert the mask and do things that way. But I'll keep it at normal, and we're also going to remove the default feathering that's on there. So we'll take it from 10 to 0, because we don't really want any feathering. We want some nice, clean lines. So if you need some visual aid, you can scroll into the actual audio track to make the waveforms larger, and just listen to it and kind of arrow over to hear where the beats are happening. And let's start our first beat. So the first chunk of text happens at the first beat. And then when we go to the second beat, I want the second chunk of text to appear, but I still want the first chunk of text to still be on the screen because we're making the whole sentence show up piece by piece. So although you could use the mask path keyframes, there's not really an option for you to change the interpolation of the keyframes when you right click them to be on hold. They kind of just gradually move from keyframe to keyframe unless you were to do duplications of keyframes one frame before each other. And in my opinion, that's a bit more tedious of a workflow than I want, but you can see how that could give you a bit of a more gradual effect. I want it to just be popping up in chunks. So I'm going to delete the keyframes, and I actually prefer to work by actually cutting up this text title in most cases. So what I'm going to do is we have that first mask path set out to the first couple letters, and I'm going to go to the second beat, and I'll create a cut. So I'll create a cut right where I want the next step to be. Now I'll highlight that new cut we made. I'll reselect the mask. If you don't see the options to adjust the mask, make sure you're in the program section of the window, not the reference. So I'll now adjust it so that it expands over to introduce the rest of the text that I want. So now I have how to animate text on this section. Now you'll go to the next area where you want it to be. You'll make another cut and then highlight that new section and then make it expand a little bit more with the mask. So you see how we're doing this with the cut and then adjust the mask. Don't go through and cut everything at once because then you'll have a lot more different segments to adjust. It works easier if you pyramid it down like this. So once we get to this next line, we're actually going to have to click and create a point on the mask so that we have some more flexibility. I'll create two new points so that we can create the shape in the proper way that we want. And you can just continue masking out these letters to the beat like so. Now for that one part where there's a lot of stuttering in the music, I kind of made the text flicker. You can do that by adding cuts and deleting segments on the hi-hat. Or you can go to the effects panel, add a strobe light effect onto the title and play around with the timing of it so that it's at a very quick interval. 
like 0.2 for every 0.4 seconds and make the layer transparent and just kind of see if that matches up with the beat. And then from there, you could either cut away your text on a beat so that it disappears on another beat or you could right click and make it fade out or make it fade or transition out however you want. One cool thing you can do after you've made all these segments is highlight them all and then right click and nest them so they're all nested in one sequence. And now you have this one big green nested sequence that still has everything within it if you double click on it. But on this nested sequence, you can add overall positional keyframes or opacity keyframes. So if I wanted to gradually increase the scale from 100 to 125, you could just do that and you can see how we don't have to animate every single section of that text. So we can treat it as a nested or grouped object. But that's the basics of how to animate text in Premiere using masking. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my new videos. You can follow me on all social media at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.